Oh, yes. It's a magnificent Monday, everyone. We have the baby-wearing dancers of San Antonio on the show today, and it's all about... Look at... Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. It's all about the little ones and the mamas. Of and course. Mamas to be Thank as you. Well. You're getting close now, aren't you? Yeah, I could be out, yeah. Uh, I can hey. hear that sound at any moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorsiza. Yes, it is a baby-themed show today, and we have everything from the trendiest products to baby shower inspiration, uh, you know, f- f- from... Food. You know, food, yes, to... Drink. Throwing the baby shower on a budget, kind of everything. Mm-hmm. Um, but we want, t- uh, before we start, we want you to share some of your baby pictures yeah and not necessarily what? you you know like we, we don't need to see no, yours no no but- <laughs> i think there's only one you know <laughs> but just- when you're the youngest of four you don't get many back yeah anyway yeah there's nothing they don't I'm even care at that point about that, so. uh but yeah all the little baby pictures all the ones you know that you're going to embarrass them with mm-hmm. when they're 16 going to the prom we're doing that little picture here that you're so, gonna put yeah. in the yearbook oh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we did that to the boys too they go you really put that picture in there we're like of course uh-huh, we did of course we did yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, let, so share those at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll put some of those up. What better way to start the show than with the magician of baked goods? Yes. Dario Ariano from Romelia's Bakery is here, and this guy, what he can do with flour and sugar and buttercream <sighs> icing is Fondant. just amazing. <laughs> Fondant, <laughs> yes, indeed. So, it's how amazing. are you? Good, good. Excited <laughs> good to, to be here. Honored to be here. And um, I want to say, like, congratulations. Thank you. So, here are some ideas that you can actually, I want to start looking for, for, like, first year, the smash cake and many, many ideas. Mm-hmm. So, right now, what we're going to do is I'm going to have a competition for you guys. Okay. Ooh, all right. Let's see who can decorate the best cupcake. Let's see the team's boy or girl. Because, you know, that's a simple thing to do for it's, a shower. If you don't want to go a whole formal cake or something. Mm-hmm. You might want to do cupcakes, you know, like you can have fun. You can decorate them and go crazy with sprinkles. I have several sprinkles. Okay. And oh, then, so we're, we're going the whole nine oh, yards here. Oh, we are? Yes. Okay. We're going to... Gonna put everything right there. Yes. So okay. Yes. So let's see. It's a, I have some uh, flower fondant. Okay. And then let me just say something about we have a like, uh, cover uh, pretzels. We have our signature um, item, which is the meringue base with pecans, cream cheese, and mango. It's already in season, so it's super delicious. It's amazing. Wow. Yeah, that would be just. I mean, that other seems than so regular, light. Regular yes. cupcake, but that's perfect. Mm-hmm. You know, with perfect a little... for any occasion. Even, you know, with a, not a baby shower, but... No, just kind of even, for the, mom, just because, even for the mom. Um, I, I agree. That and a little glass of sparkly, mm-hmm. bubbly would be really good. So, okay. All right. We're going to get going here. Okay. okay. So anything it, goes, right? Anything, All right, anything goes. See. Okay, we've got some time on the clock. I don't know if it's 30 seconds or 60 seconds. Something Don't like tell us when. Okay. <laughs> right, here we, here, we okay. here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go and go. What are we doing? You're so going to beat me. Let's see who can do the best out there. I might be looking. Oh, oh, he's doing little... I was going for speed. <laughs> like, so what you do? Go generous. Be generous. Ah! <laughs> oh, sorry. Wait hey, Mark. Sorry. Look, Mike, look, she's doing something like. There you are. Look at you. 30 on the timer. 30 seconds left, bakers. <laughs> Oh, I'm make. I'm just making a mess. I, I, I there we go. Hey, that, I kind of like that though. That's very pretty. Oh my goodness, Mike Osterhage, why are you so creative? I can't <laughs> even look at his perfect little individual flowers. I just went for speed. But you, you have, you have the perfect smash cupcake. I do. Yes, you I, have this that, perfect. Well, that's what I should do with it. Is you know, mine looks like it can be smashed. Yours is too okay. pretty to smash. I guess we already know who the you, winner. You're, you're you win. the expert who, who Mike, wins here. So, Mike. well, um, Mike. Fiona, let's give it Aww. to Fiona. So let's give it. <laughs> I still think yours was better. Kiss up. Yeah. <laughs> no, Smart yeah. Smart man, no, though. No. You never, you never vote against yeah. the pregnant woman. Well, especially so. when you're standing yeah. next to her. So. <laughs> and not only for baby showers, but you can make yes, literally we, anything. Right? Yes, we are a Maria's Bakery. We make any for any special occasion. Just give us like the day, and we have something ready for you for any weddings, baby showers, birthdays, for anything. Oh, look at. Oh my goodness! Yes. With the the rings up there, the wedding cake, and of course, yes, there's the the mango, uh, the treasure, 
that we he call made it our treasure. Well. Oh, a baby those, shower. Look at those cupcakes. They oh my so goodness! Cute. How now are those cute. real ducks or did you make those ducks too? I made them. I made it by hand. You made those He's little yellow puppies. We have fun. You put me flowers, sugar, and fondant in front of me, and I will make my lashes or stashes. Yes. I love that. It was a gender review. You see? Okay. Oh. Do you have a favorite thing to bake? Cakes, definitely. Cakes, definitely. Yes. Well, I mean, okay. look at that one. I would one. say cakes are the most. What fun. flavor is this one? This cake right here. Guess what? It's your favorite red, red velvet, velvet. <gasps> cake. Oh my gosh! Special for the occasion. <laughs> Well, a couple of examples. When we had Lou Ferrigno on the show, you made a Hulk cake. Yes. Uh, when, with Manny Ginobili, he made the Spurs jersey cake. Mm -hmm. So, you know, see, anything. We can go from a baby shower to any occasion. Okay. Just give me the idea, and I got it done for you. And, and you're out there on Dave We're Zavala? on Hibner and I-10. Yes. And, I and then, actually, if you mention SA Live, you get 10% off next week. Because okay. we're okay. celebrating Fiona's baby shower. Woo Yay, Yay! Thank you! You're welcome, All everybody. Right. Enjoy that discount. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and read. I have a cough coming. Okay, of course. Know. Yes. For more on Romelia's bakery, <coughs> just head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right. Well, this next story inspires all families with babies and young children to get outside and connect with nature. Our Jen Tobias Trusky introduces us to a group called Hike It Baby. Take a look. <laughs> So the ultimate goal is to get outside with those little ones. So it's a mommy, daddy, nanny, granny group, um, and we just encourage and promote getting outside with, you know, your babies. A lot of first-time moms, you know, maybe have that problem with that first step of getting outside with the kids. And so you have a little group that says, hey, come out, meet with us. You know, let's just walk, no strings attached. Let's just get out and enjoy ourselves. It's an instant bond for the Hike It Baby group, connecting through nature and their kiddos to take on trails across the city. Uh, so we're not like roughing it on the trails, but we do like to get out into the nature, even if it's just a, you know, paved area where we can take the stroller and just let her, our three-year-old especially, roam. Yes, roaming and exploring, and well, they may not even realize they're exercising too. And I see brand new bugs that I haven't ex dis us discovered yet. So that's um, how why I like to go hiking, because I get to discover stuff. Ready, set, go! Hikes range from one mile to five miles. We go at the pace of, you know, of the people. So we stop for, you know, maybe a crying child, or an upset child, a hungry child, someone that needs to be fed, diaper changed, nursed. And so, you know, we're really an at the pace of the group, you know, which is really wonderful. This trail is at Stone Oak Park. Um, the kids really like it because there's a tunnel at the end. They get to screen through the tunnel. <laughs> It gives her a lot of self-confidence because a lot of the walks are like led by the kids. So it kind of gives her time where she can learn how to kind of be the leader. The kids just enjoy it so much and they're making a lot of good friends and they're getting out in nature and that is like the biggest part. We just want kids to get outside. We have a couple that lead um, weekly hikes. So Stone Oak is one of our weekly hikes. Um, Cathedral Rock is a weekly hike. We used to have folks at Comanche Park, Eisenhower Park, Government Canyon. Um, I mean, there's so many, you know, there's there's parks and shirts and in Converse. I mean, all over San Antonio. You can go, go. So if you're looking to stay active with your little ones, and if you want safety in numbers, why don't you take For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Strusky. Still ahead, snacks and appetizers that won't break the bank if you're planning a baby shower on a budget. Plus, from gender reveals to baby backdrops for the perfect photo, we're sharing baby shower centerpiece ideas next. Stay with us. Welcome back to SA Live. We'll throw out a baby shower. Yeah, it can definitely add up, but we have you covered with the tips and tricks that won't break the bank. And Natasha Diaz, owner of Balloons Boutique here in San Antonio, is joining us. And 
Say one thing, we had the, the magician with the flour and sugar and fondant, and you are the magician with these balloons Balloon. and the decorations. <laughs> if you remember back last fall, you did the cornucopia for Thanksgiving for us, you did the Christmas did, decorations, yes. and now the baby shower. So what are we doing today? Today we're going to make um, a cloud. We're going to make a cloud for the centerpiece, but the mm -hmm. clouds can also be used as decorations that you can put around like for a backdrop. Um, you can do like a garland in front of the table and just, you can use them for a lot of decorations. Okay, so how do we get started? So first you're going to need to grab a couple of uh, balloons filled with helium that you can get at your local party store. Mm -hmm. You need um, any stuffed animal that you like and these five inch balloons and we're going to fill a couple of them up. And, and you you're do gonna... the trick where you tie two of them together, right? But that's with the machine, yes. <laughs> but you, I mean, you he kind of tie balloons. Yes, and then the other thing we're going to need is a water balloon. And so I don't know if you want to show So the, the trick with the water balloon, just to be on the safe side, is you have two balloons, one stuffed in the other yes. one. Okay, and what's the best way to do that? You with said? a pencil. Okay, it's so the easiest way. You just grab the first one, you roll it up, and you stick it inside. Okay, and then just fill them up in time. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this and is, because so many times with balloons, they come with weights, and yeah. this is your weight. So here's another one, another. Okay. And that's just a little water just balloon. Wanna, yeah. And then when you're all done, you can have water balloon fight. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and the that double balloon won't break as easy, so you can nail something. Exactly. No, I'm kidding. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so then we, when we tie these together. Yes, so here, tie that one together. Okay. And so. here we have already a little cluster already done. And, and you just you're going to want to leave like the neck kind of long. Okay. And then you're going to grab the neck of another cluster and tie it around together in a knot. And the nice thing about this is it's and then a you cloud just shape, so them. there's almost no rhyme or reason. You just put them yeah. together. Yeah. And then you're going to want to make sure you have you, the water weight so your mm. balloons don't fly away. Okay. And then add the stuffed animal and the little And look at how adorable that is. You're done. The huge decoration in the back there is great, but this one right next to us is extra special. This giant balloon right yes, here. What is that? Yes, we do gender reveal balloons. Okay. Um, and so, this one we're going to okay. pop for Fiona. Fiona? So oh, here, boy. Here's okay. your chance now. <laughs> okay. We've been talking about this right. the whole time. Here we go. And whatever color's in there. We still it's don't know. Twins. Still don't it's know. Not still don't know. know. <laughs> it's not. It's not pink and blue. It's not twins. I uh, we chose for for the surprise, so we don't know. But that was really pretty. Hey, yeah. This is right on your microphone right, right there. Now? It was oh, perfect. I'm going to be so. finding them everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> what a fantastic idea! That was idea. so pretty. Yeah, and that's always fun to find um, find out the sex of the baby. And we also have these really cute um, bouquets that we make. For um, like and welcome home and gifts whatever, or whatever your decorating gifts. needs are, for whatever the party is, she can do it and does yeah. a fantastic job. <laughs> and if you'd like more information on Balloons Boutique, uh, SA, go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Natasha, thank you thank very you much. Thank you for having uh, us once again. again. Beautiful, great ideas. All right, still ahead on the show, stylish gear and genius baby innovations for mom. We have a list of must-have baby products. Plus. Safe workouts for new moms, a pregnancy workout that's going to make you break a sweat. If you're an expecting mom, you know the struggles of staying active. So today, Lisa DeArmond with Fit for Mom is here, and you're going to show us a few moves moms can do while they're expecting, right? Yes, <laughs> yes, we will. Uh, today, we have Elisa here, and she is using our mini band. This is a great uh, portable exercise tool, and she's doing what we call like a prisoner, uh, uh, an upper bicep curl. Um, and so it's called a preacher bicep curl. Sorry about that. And so so this is great for activating her biceps, but she's also using a lot of her triceps and her deltoids because she's having to keep that arm up there. Um, and then she's gonna take that, that same band and she's gonna go into a mid row, which is activating her back. 
and then she's gonna take it into a squat. So all of these exercises, they're working her back, that they're gonna help keep her posture during her pregnancy, because your tummy tends to get a little heavy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it, 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 it causes kyphoesis and lordosis, which you could hear, mm -hmm. and then you get a little sway back. Mm -hmm. So this squat right here is helping her keep her hips neutral and that strengthening the back is helping her shoulders stay in that back position. And of course, you mentioned some benefits of exercise for during pregnancy, but then they can also help in labor and delivery. Right, so exercising during your pregnancy is gonna help reduce your morning sickness. Mm -hmm. It's gonna help give you energy. Um, during your labor, this isn't a promise, mm -hmm. uh, but some people do find that they have a more rapid delivery after exercising, but the recovery, right. you are gonna be able to get up more quickly, be more active afterwards. And we recommend, like, as soon as you have that baby and you're able to walk comfortably, mm -hmm. get outside with that stroll and start walking with your child. Um, it, you don't want to do any heavy exercising until you get a release from your doctor. Of course. But walking around and even just doing some minor ab engagement. Right. Not like a, a crunch, Intense, but just, right. just like sitting there right. and squeezing them. Right. It's really great to just jumpstart you before you get that release from your doctor. Okay. And we have another move here? Yes. And so this right here, she's doing a squat into a lunge. You can't see it, but she's actually squeezing that ball. And so this is just activating her arms, but it's also activating a little bit of her core. And as she does the lunges and the squats, she's changing direction. So that's also a core activation move that's low impact that helps to keep those core muscles tight without having to be on your back doing crunches, which some moms, especially this late in their pregnancy, are not comfortable doing. And and you're looking for instructors, right? Yes. So you can go to northsteenantonio.fitformom.com and just look into our hiring process there. Call the number, email somebody. We enthusiastic moms um, with if love of fitness. Because obviously it is, it is moms and expected moms, you know, all helping out. So at times they kind of have to rotate out. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. We have a lot of moms that are on maternity leave, coming back from maternity right. leave, going on maternity. <laughs> you know, it just, yeah, it's kind of par for the course in our business. We're moms teaching fitness, so yes. it happens. And of course, you can head to the website to find franchises all across town and even up in New Braunfels. For more information on Fit for Mom, just head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Still ahead, baby products that will simplify and ease the life of moms. Plus, earlier we asked you to share your baby pictures. Oh, look at this from Crystal. Baby boy Noah turned five weeks old today. Oh, and from Amanda, start them young. Oh, and baby James, also from Amanda. Look at that with the plaid. And this is from Pal. Oh my goodness, having fun with Snapchat. Too cute. Keep them coming at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter. Oh, we didn't get anything out of that one because it was both blue and pink. That was a great gender reveal <laughs> balloon. Welcome back to SA Live. Safe, stylish products that simplify your life for mom and dad and of course, new baby. Yes, joining us today is Georgia Fiebrick, founder of Go Mama Go Designs, to share more. Oh my gosh, Good look at how cute this stuff is. Before we Thank get started, you. what is Mama Go Designs? Go Mama Go is a company that was founded uh, to create innovative products for uh, mothers and dads and uh, to make life more easy, simple, uh, just give them a peace of mind so they can enjoy parenting better. It's amazing how things have changed not only, you know, since mine were little, 16, 14 mm -hmm. years ago, but, you know, every year something new comes out. And this is great for cribs. You know, it's great if you can have a color theme and usually it's white or mm -hmm. neutral color or something like that, but... These Gray is very popular right now, yes. This is amazing. Yeah, this is a new alternative uh, to the traditional crib bumper. Uh, the traditional crib bumper is uh, banned in a lot of cities and states right now. So this is a vertical liner, and it zips right on. Um, we have a lot of colors that are reversible. 
Um, but they, you basically count your crib rails on mm -hmm. the crib, and that's how many you need. Um, you can also zip two or more together, like on the corners here or the wider slats. Uh, so it, we've really created a liner that um, fits any crib rail. So it stretches, it compresses, um, and it can fit up to, to a three-inch wide crib rail. And most of the crib rails are pretty much They're pretty uniform. standard, okay. yes, yes. Um, and the great thing about these liners, they provide optimum airflow. There's no suffocation risk. You're really providing padded protection to your baby. And we hear it all the time that babies sleep better in our crib with our liners. And if you need to pick a color, I think you pretty much got that covered, right? <laughs> yes. There's something for everyone. We have gold and silver metallic coming, too. This Ooh! Spring. I know. Oh, wow. Okay. And, and just a reminder, of course, you know, always the safety experts, nothing goes in the crib with a newborn except the newborn. Yeah, and these are great when they really start moving around. We always get those frantic calls when the babies are about six months and they're, they're banging their heads, and this is perfect for them. And, and you know, we have a lot of kids with uh, special, special needs kids that stay in their crib longer than most kids, and mm -hmm. this is wonderful for them. And when you, because mattresses are uh, convertible because you can mm -hmm. raise it up a little bit for the mm -hmm. newborns, and this works even this if works, the mattress this, is Yeah, it doesn't too, matter right? where you put it. It also makes it really easy to change the sheet. You don't have to remove the bedding to take the sheet out. And um, they, they zip down, and the zipper remains below the mattress, away from the child. So okay. it's very safe. Okay. A couple other uh, yes. really nifty little products over here, because you always want to, you know, you want to do the swaddling first? <laughs> yeah, uh, sure, sure. Nobody can swaddle like the nurse at the, uh, in the maternity ward there, but this makes it a lot easier. This is super easy. I invented this when my daughter was, I don't know, three, six months old because I just wanted to sleep. So this is why I made it. I wanted to sleep. So it's super easy. You just put the baby in the pouch, and this wing goes across it. There's a slit right here. It's almost invisible, but you pull it through. Mm -hmm. And you pull it nice and tight. Don't be afraid to swaddle tightly. Babies are used to a very tight, you know, womb-like environment. Yeah. So it's, it's okay. It's in there. Yeah, it's, it's okay. a snug comforting yeah. feeling, kind of secure feeling. Yeah, so there's Velcro on the back. So that wing just goes right, Velcro's on the back. And this one comes across and Velcro's on the other side. And uh, just really gives them that womb-like environment, a really tight, cozy feeling, and this will give them room to grow. So we make the, the blanket big enough to, to grow with the baby. And obviously, mm -hmm. just toss that in the washing That's machine, right. right? Yes. Okay. okay. Having yes. wipes. Yes. That's, yeah. You but this is cool because it's something wipes. for dads. Well, yeah, and, and convenient, too. So this great little pouch, which course is velcro here and it's got little compartments in there yeah it's a wipes holder it comes with there um and it's called our daddy caddy so mm -hmm. it's a, a daddy carrier for dads on the go you can there's a bunch of different ways to carry it there's a zipper for your phone and your wallet your keys and it holds up to uh, two or three diapers it has the wipes holder um and you can latch it onto your stroller your bag your your belt loop you know just put it in your pocket and watch out because mom might steal it too. So they, <laughs> might need to, they might need to get two. But you know, you know this uh -huh. is something great, not only for dad, but if you want to just have that extra one stashed away in the console of the car right. or something just or in your, in your purse yeah. too. Yeah, so. if you want to go into a restaurant with your baby but not bring your whole diaper bag and all of that. Yeah. Just, yeah. Right. Okay. okay. And you've got a deal mm -hmm. as well. That's right. Uh, for all the viewers out there, we are offering 20% off. Uh, use the code SAFE20, S-A-F-E-20. And that will give you 20% off. All right, Georgia, thank you very much. And for all these Thanks products, great products, visit salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, still ahead, baby wearing dancers of San Antonio are here and ready to trip the light fantastic. How you can join and get your dance on with your baby a little bit later on in the show. Plus, baby shower on a budget, recipes that will be a hit at your baby party. Stay with us. Welcome back to SA Live. While trying to plan the perfect baby shower on a tight budget, well, guess what? You don't have to spend a fortune on food. Award-winning food blogger Viani Rodriguez is here to help you. Oh, my goodness. And I love that we have mocktails and some appetizers. Yes, <laughs> something light, refreshing, and something easy to make. Okay, so let's start over okay. here. So what we did here is we, we want a quick and easy appetizer. Mm -hmm. Not too much time. So what we did is we picked up, I picked up some hummus, mm -hmm. and we're going to jazz it up a little bit. Okay. So we're going to add some fresh salsa to it okay, for a little bit of heat. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add some pepitas for some crunch. Oh. Yeah, so we'll just mix that in. Get the little hints of jalapeno and cilantro and a little crunch from the pepitas. Mm -hmm. 
and then we can serve that with pita chips. So that oh took us, what, gosh. like 10 seconds? Oh, yeah, no, not yeah. long at all. And people love it, and it's light, and it's healthy, and it's perfect for the babies. Oh, look at that. Right? Okay. All right, I shall sample that. And then now <laughs> we're going to have some fun. Because yes. I, I don't really get to have this kind of fun anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so what I did is we brought two mocktails today. Super easy, super light. So what we're going to do is we're going to do one that's cherry. This one is... You like that's it? That's good, yeah. That's good. That's fine. <laughs> so we're going to add cherry juice mm -hmm. okay. to the bottom of your pitcher. I just put ice in here. We're going to add some of these maraschino cherries in there, a little bit of that juice. How many? As just, much as you want. Oh, wow. Yeah. Let's do that. As much okay. as Mama wants. There we go. That's <laughs> and right. Then, <laughs> and then we're going to top it with some sparkling soda, lemon lime soda, anything that you're craving. I mean, after all, this is your day. <laughs> wow. That's, that's going to be, we're going to need a bigger picture. <laughs> we're going to need a bigger picture. <laughs> Give it a quick stir. Okay. And that's all you need. And that's this right here? That's this right here. And what I like to do is I like to... Jazz it up a little bit with a little dehydrated lime slice. Just makes it cute. Mm -hmm. And then for our second one, we're gonna do a little tropical spin. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add Ooh, coconut, you like it? Okay. Coconut water. Which is great. Which is great. Mm -hmm. Super um, hydrating. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna hit it with some pineapple juice. So we get a little tropical feel here. Oh my god. Some vitamin C. Yes. And then we're going to top it with sparkling water. Healthy and refreshing. Mm -hmm. And then if you have guests that would like it a little spiked, mm. you can have a little vodka on the side, a little tequila. Yeah, you can. <laughs> and then we'll stir that up. Just don't mix up the punch bowls. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, folks can head to your website for all kinds of recipes, right? Yes. And here we go. Let's let you have a try of this. Super easy. Super simple. Okay, and we love the cookbook you wrote and Thank what you. inspired the recipes inside. Oh my it. gosh, my grandmother, my mom, you know, easy, quick food made in the slow cooker. Oh my gosh. Okay. What do you think? Oh my gosh, that's so you good. Like it? <laughs> Look at me, double fisting. <laughs> oh my gosh, somebody stop me. <laughs> okay, now uh, tell me a little bit more about your, your cookbook because it's, it's the slow cooker cookbook, yes. right? It's all Tex-Mex recipes mm -hmm. made in the slow cooker. Mm -hmm. So nothing's really, you don't need a lot of ingredients. Everything is just, you know, you put it in the slow cooker, put it on low and slow, and you're set for the week. All right. So Okay. And how many recipes are in there? Oh, my gosh. There's it's, 100. It's, it's 100, appetizers, right? yeah. meals, cocktails. So. <laughs> a little bit of mocktails. <laughs> a little bit of everything. Mocktails. <laughs> a little bit of everything. All right. Thank you so much. Well, for more information, of course, on Vianney Rodriguez and all these recipes and her cookbook, just head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, tomorrow on the show, sun's out and spring is in. How to wear florals and those bright colors with bold prints. A look at the spring style forecast. Plus, farm yoga. Get in your workout with some quacks and bahs. A really cool event featuring some furry friends and fitness. That and more tomorrow at 1. Stay with us. popular Greek restaurant opened its doors in San Antonio back in 1993. Been visiting the restaurant over 20 years. Bye ladies, thank you. After working with the owners for 25 years, Chef Chandula took over the business. Opa! I love to cook and it's something that it takes a lot of commitment. The Greek restaurant makes everything from scratch. We we'll start off with pickled grape leaves. Like their hand rolled pickled grape leaf dolmas that are stuffed with a lamb beef blend and seasonings. That looks really good. After they're stuffed, they get boiled and ready to serve. Everything made fresh in house. We just saw it all get made right now. I'm gonna try maybe all of them. <laughs> Oh wow, the inside has a really great texture. The sauce that's on there is insane. You put that on anything, it's gonna be delicious. This is fantastic. You're gonna end up eating like 20 of these and not know what happened. You're gonna lose track of time. And the restaurant serves up huge plates of their grilled marinated meats. Watch Elder Eats every Thursday at 1.30 p.m. to explore both new and iconic restaurants around Central and South Texas. And don't forget to follow the show on social media for contests, pictures, and behind the scenes looks. Keep eating, San Antonio. For Elder Eats, I'm David Elder.
Lee Mazzanti is one of the co-founders. Good afternoon. Hello. And to all the babies yeah. and ladies that are here. So how'd you get started? Um, we got started. Uh, my friend Claudia found the idea of doing a flash mob. They were based out of Mexico. And she was like, hey, I know that you like to dance. Can you help me? I'm like, sure. So we made a flash mob. And everyone said that it was a lot of fun. And let's keep it around. So <laughs> we decided to make our group. And that's kind of where we've gone from there. And we just rode the coattails and kept on going and having a good old time. Keep boogieing with the babies. Yes, yes. that's so what we're can, doing. Can anyone join? Yes, it's <laughs> open to anyone. Uh, any parents, caregivers that want to dance and move with their babies, you can have a small little baby. You can have a bigger baby. I danced with my three-year-old while I was pregnant. Um, you can dance when your baby's still on the inside as well. So we just ask that you wait um, those first six weeks until you're cleared after baby's been born. So baby has time to grow a little bit, and then uh, the caregiver has time to kind of heal postpartum. I saw from some of the pictures, you got quite a group, too. How many yes. are in it? Um, we've had up to about 55 at one time. Um, but, of course, you know, people have babies, and they're moving, and, come, yeah, and babies move, and they don't always want to hold them. So right now we've got about 25, but we're open to anyone who wants to join us. We have uh, free classes that we do with Grooveroo San Antonio and Alamo City Baby Wears. And then we have our membership uh, that people can come and join us to do our performances. And a great way if you're kind of doing the postpartum depression a little bit. You've got a support group here that you're yes. having fun with and dancing with. Yes, you, right? and uh, I can't tell you how often we talk on Facebook. We've got a really active Facebook group. Someone's always posting something like, hey, look at this cute thing my kid did while I was practicing at home. Or... Sometimes we have to make sure we get to practice a little early so we're not just spending the first, like, 20 minutes talking. Right. So. Right. And you, of course, have regular classes? Yes. We have four practices a month, and then plus our free classes is we try to do one or two of those a month as well. And you guys perform around town. Yes, we do. <laughs> and you can catch Baby Wearing Dancers of San Antonio perform at the Missions Games uh, Saturday, April 13th at 6 p.m. at Nelson Wolf Stadium. You can follow them at BWDSA. And one of our dancers is raring to go, so You're ladies, ready? take it away. And gentlemen. Show with all the babies. All the babies, babies everywhere. Oh yes, this is from Laura. And look at Jeepers Creepers. Look Those at them peepers. Eyes. Oh, and look at the little. Yeah, that's place. how I feel right now. Just nap time. This is from Lynn. This is my brother taking me and my puppy for a ride. Oh, that was for Jessica. Look, oh my goodness. We could just sit there and ooh and ah and. This is from beautiful. Christian Flores. Spring is in the air with three beautiful ones right there. Oh, oh, look at that guy. Hey there. How you doing? Look Great. at that I know. face. <laughs> this is from Emily. Once, Once little babies. babies my... Now my twin what? sister. Lauren and I happy turned birthday. 21 today. Oh my gosh. Happy hey. birthday. Oh, nothing like a snuggle. Yes, that's kids. from Liz Juarez. Alexis, baby Chloe, five months old. Look at and how look happy. At that smile. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, this is from Kathy Herta, my granddaughter, Shelby. Look at Shelby. Oh, uh, and Perlita, Gabriel, 10 months old and praising the <laughs> Lord. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is from Claire Elliott, because baby Andrew is still cute when he's mad. <laughs> Aren't they? <laughs> and from Sandra, Louise, 15 months, celebrating daddy's birthday. Oh, look at that. He's so happy in all his balloons. Uh huh. And this is from Martin and Cecilia Torres. These are all their babies. Five. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, five. blessings. Yes. And Trina, my daughter, Gracie. Oh, <laughs> Look at that hair. <laughs> yeah. 
This is from Martin and Cecilia again. My two and a half month old. Oh, so happy and smiling. Uh -huh. Oh, and another Kayla smiley face. Ivory Rose at one year old. <laughs> Oh, this is from Veronica Withers. They are not newborns, but my babies. Nonetheless, Nate and Gabe Withers in their cute little outfits. They are adorable. Thank you so much for sending in all your pictures of all the babies. And pretty soon we're going to be seeing mm -hmm. pictures of I know. Little, little Michael. Any day now. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Little Michael. Little Michael. Really? You didn't catch that? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up tomorrow, uh, Sun's Out Springs in the Air, how to wear florals properly. From Leighton W. Couture, yes. the spring style forecast. Oh, yes, and farm yoga, your favorite. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yoga with goats. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>